Yo, what's going on guys? You're watching JavaScript for Beginners Lesson 32 and in this video we're going to talk about the DOM. Alright, so what is the DOM? Well, the DOM is just an acronym and it stands for Document Object Model. Now, in technical terms, you're going to find descriptions like it's an application programming interface. But what that really means is that we can use the DOM when we interact with web pages. And when I say interact, I mean we can add content to a HTML document, we can remove content from a HTML document, and we can change content on a HTML document. All of that interactivity we can do via the DOM. And we can do this on the fly as your web page is being loaded or viewed in a web browser. So working through the DOM one component at a time, first of all, we've got the document, right? And the document is just the web page. Now, it doesn't matter whether you view that web page in a browser like this on the left or in your text editor on the right, we'll see two different things. It's the same thing. It's just the document. And typically speaking, when we do web design and web development, that document is a HTML document. So when we say the document in regards to the DOM, we generally mean the HTML document. The next component is the object. Now, in HTML, pretty much every element within your document is an object. That means the head tag is an object, the body tag is an object, the UL tag is an object, the P tag is an object, A tags, span tags, div tags. Any tag in your HTML document is an object in the eyes of the DOM. And we know by now that JavaScript works very well with objects. We can call methods on objects. We can call properties on objects. So we can use those objects in HTML, all those tags, to call methods on them, to change them, delete them, add to them, etc. And finally, we come to the last component, which is the model. Now, the model basically describes how these objects are laid out in a tree fashion, much like this diagram. We've got the HTML at the top. Underneath that, we have head tags, title tags, body tags, UL tags, div, blah, de, blah, de, blah. It's all displayed in some kind of hierarchical tree. So that is one aspect of the model. It describes how those objects are laid out. But we can take it one step further and we can introduce nodes. And yep, nodes are pretty much anything we can change in a HTML document. So yes, these are all nodes, these objects or these elements, they're all nodes within the DOM. And we can grab each one of these nodes and change it. But also, the text within these elements are also nodes. So the li tag is a node, but the text within that li tag is also a separate node, right? And we can grab hold of that separately and change it. And finally, HTML attributes are also nodes. So we may have a href attribute on a particular tag or a class attribute or a styles attribute. And we can grab hold of all of those individually as well. They are nodes. So what can we do with the DOM? Well, we can change these nodes. We can interact with them, right? And a few examples are here. We could change the text node within a h1 tag, right? We could change the background color of an element node. We could animate the logo node from the left to the right. So that's going to be an image node, right? We just animate that from the left side of the document to the right side of the document. We could expand the height of an element node when you're clicking it. For example, you might have a bit of text, then a read more link below. If you click that link, it expands the height of that element node so you can read more. Plus, we can do tons of other things with the DOM as well. Animations, uh, validations, tons of other cool stuff. And we're going to go into a bit of that later on. So that pretty much sums up what the DOM is. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to ask down below. I'll answer any questions. Also, if you enjoy these videos, please like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one where we're going to take this one step further.